What's up guys, Reverend Saint here today and I have a special video for you guys. Uh, so basically yesterday I had gone out and I, I wanted to get a new GPU because I have an older one in there. It's not very good. It's good enough to play most games. In fact it plays a lot of games all the way up. Uh, but it's actually pretty cheap and it's definitely getting outdated. So I wanted to go and get a new one and I picked the MSI GTX 680 Twin Frozer 3 2 gigabyte card. Absolutely amazing. I've already installed it once and uh, put the drivers in and stuff like that and tried it out. Absolutely amazing. It's got that boost clock and obviously the, the new technology NVIDIA is doing with their uh, their cards. And it's, it's freaking nuts, guys. It really is. Uh, it runs about $470 if you want to get it. Uh, that's on Newegg, Amazon, stuff like that. If you buy it from a store like Fry's or Micro Center, if you guys have any of those around you, um, it's probably about $506 with sales tax, at least in Ohio it is. Uh, other states obviously is going to vary, uh, but that's how much I spent on it, and I love this thing. Uh, so basically, what I wanted to do instead of doing an unboxing video, I wanted to show you guys how to install it, basically. But I'm not going to use all the tech-savvy nerd talk for those who may be curious and want to get into it but don't know much. So basically, I'm just going to go the simple route of doing it, and uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. But here's the box, get a better look at it. Absolutely amazing card. And obviously the contents of it are the uh, the card itself right here. It's a freaking monster, as you guys can see. Uh, it's huge. It's like half my case, as you can see. And I have a full tower case, so it's it's pretty big. <laughs> uh, but very powerful, and actually runs pretty cool and quiet, too. So that's really good. And also, I want to get this off my chest right off the bat. I do have a cold right now, so if there's any cuts, it's probably because I had a coughing fit. Or had to blow my nose or something. So uh, that's also why I sound really different right now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but moving on, the other contents, they give you two power converters for the PCI Express power. Uh, if you don't have PCI Express plugs on your power supply, I guess. Uh, very, very sweet. So MSI, good job there. I don't need those, but uh, I didn't even realize they were in there until just now. <laughs> and then uh, they give us a VG... VGA to DVI converter. So if you don't have like a, a DVI plug on your monitor, you just stick this on the uh, VGA cable and plug it into the card and there you go. The sad thing is though, is I discovered that on the back of the card, they have two different, I don't know if you can see it, but they have two different DVI types. The one is, I can't I think it's like the, the top one, which the card goes like this, is a DVI I, I think, which is like the most common. And then the bottom one is a DVI D. So the bottom one doesn't have as many pins in it, and you can't fit a regular DVI converter into it like that. I, I have like six converters, and they're all DVI. So uh, cables will fit though. It's just a little difficult to run Xbox and dual monitor screens on two monitors. So uh, it's a little iffy, but it does have HDMI out, as you guys can see right there. So you can use your Elgato with it as well, which I was doing last night. It's works absolutely amazingly. You got two SLI bridges here because it's uh, up to three-way SLI, I think, and it's just absolutely amazing. So that's that. This is a converter, obviously. Quick start user guide right here, unimportant. Another little uh, pamphlet there, and actually, of course, the driver's disc, which is actually in my my drive. Please, people, don't yell at me. I know I actually forgot it was in there, but it comes with the driver's disc. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's get down into it. I actually installed my old card again. Didn't turn on or anything, it's just in there. So I can show you guys how to remove it and put it back in. So obviously, you take screws off the back. If you get screws, or some have latches and stuff like that, or some just snap off. Uh, so mine has screws, but I took them out already. So you take that off. Um, my cables are everywhere, I know. Don't get on me about it, I'm not very neat. This was, this was my first PC I built, built it two years ago. And we'll get into specs a little bit later after we get rid of this, or get rid, <laughs> do the main part of the video here. Uh, but my cable for the CPU power is a little tight because this was actually a newer power supply and the cables weren't as long as my old one. So I uh, got that one plugged in out of the way. Here's the old card. Obviously, it's right here. This is actually NVIDIA GTX 550. Uh, they run. They were about 200 bucks when I bought them, which was like a year ago, and uh, now they run for about 100 bucks. So they're they're really good cards if you're looking for something cheap that you can run games. If you're playing like World of Warcraft or Star Wars or um, um, Lord of the Rings Online, any MMO pretty much will, this will run. Uh, Aeon's a little little demanding, so I don't know if it runs that all the way up. I haven't played Aeon, uh, but I know it's pretty pretty uh, demanding game 
for as far as MMOs go. So, uh, but it is a pretty decent card. I I love it. So I advise if you if you don't have the money to get a high end card like the 680, I definitely advise getting one of these. They are a little bit older. Uh, they are getting to where the point where they can't run most games anymore, like Crisis. Good luck. <laughs> but anyway, let's get down to it. First off, we got the power plug right here on the back end. Usually, you just unplug that. It says PCIe on the power plug usually, so that's how you know. That's basically it goes for the card, and other cards use that as well. Uh, then you got the screw right here on the back to hold it in, to help hold it in place on the back bracket here. And then my motherboard. Not all of them have this, uh, but my motherboard has a little clip right here for the the card to hold it in place, to help hold it in place. So I gotta lift that little latch there for the clip, and then lift the card up. So, and the key to installing anything onto a computer is not to be gentle, but not to be rough with it. You kind of have to ease into it. So you kind of have to be like, you kind of have to start pushing slow, gentle, and then just kind of push harder and harder. And if it doesn't go in, obviously, then it's not going to work. But anyway, GTX 550, don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I think I'm giving it to a friend. I can't remember. But now we take the new card. Huge, absolutely huge card, guys. Um, it barely fits into my computer here, uh, probably because I have all these cables here and stuff like that. I got my two hard drives out of the way, out of the way actually, and uh, so we're gonna have to squeeze this in here like so. I know it lines up with those two there. And get the cables. All right. So now we basically have it in position to install, and you gotta line it up right, right, just right into the slot. Here we go, it's pretty much in. Get my cables out of the way. And then you just push it down until it snaps in just like that. And the main, the main part of the card is now installed. Now, I don't know if it's like this with others, but my motherboard is a little off. So I kind of have to force the screw back in with any card, with my old card too, is the same way. Um, but I do advise having that screw there. You don't need it, but it's just added security. Man, my room is getting really hot. <laughs> sweating right now now a lot of people a lot of the things they use in static free environment and I'm on a bed right now obviously not exactly static free uh, but they're just being cautious and it's just another way for them to screw you over if like where'd you install it on I did it on my bed oh that's why I went bad now basically you're fine as long as you're not going like this on your covers or whatever uh, but anyway now now that we have that in there you take two Two power cords because this card's so freaking powerful. Two PCIe's. One goes in the bottom plug and one goes in the top plug. Like so. And bingo, it's installed. That's it. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's installed. Um, basically, you just take the side cover, put it back in over it, uh, plug all your stuff, your USBs, your, your monitors, your mouse and keyboard back in the back, power it back up. Uh, the thing with I, I discovered yesterday is it wouldn't start up right away. Like it, it started and then shut down before it got anywhere. Like it was on for like a millisecond and shut off. And I unplugged the card, the power plugs, and then started up and told me to plug in the power again. I was like, what, what's going on, man? And then I turned it off, plugged one in, and it got to the same screen. Turned it off, plugged the other one in, and then started up and works perfectly fine now. So it's kind of weird. But uh, it works. So if you guys have an issue like that, don't freak out. Just try doing that first, and you should be good. But that's pretty it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too long for you guys. hope you learned something as well. And uh, if you have any questions at all, or if you want some advice or something, what you, what you should get, or I think you should get, uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll, I will answer those questions as soon as I possibly can, right away, most likely. Uh, but yeah, just leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, favorite if you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't seen my videos before, please, I encourage you to go check them out on my channel. They're not all about putting PC parts together. There's lots of Minecraft and lots of Call of Duty and stuff like that. And a new series I'm starting to work on right now um, with this new card. So it's going to be really sweet. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed those, you new people enjoy those videos on my channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 600. That's my next goal. We're at 546 right now. Super excited. Thanks so much for all the support, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.